YouTube has finally released its own free video editing app. It's called the YouTube Create app. And in this video, I'll share how to use it step by step so that you can learn how to edit videos quickly and easily. Now at the time of filming this, this is out in beta. It is Android only right now. And there's also a limit around video quality. This will let you create videos up to 1080p. There's no 4K yet. But this is, and I guess will be, YouTube's answer to CapCut and TikTok and the integration between the two that YouTube will now have its own app to help people create better videos faster. So this is what you see when you first open up the app. You can see the YouTube account that you're signed into. So up in the top right-hand corner, we can see the Primal video channel there. We've then got a list of all of our projects down in this area here. So you can see I've got one test project here at the moment. But to get started, we just wanna hit the plus button down the bottom here. Then in here, much the same as a lot of other video editing tools and apps, we can select photos or videos up the top here. So I wanna go ahead and select our content. And I do like that in the bottom left-hand corner of each of the clips here, we can see if this video is portrait or landscape. So a nice little addition. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick this portrait clip here. We can select multiple clips here if we'd like to, to bring them all in at once, but I'm just gonna select this one, our primary footage, and I'm going to choose import. So it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna process our video. It says here file sizes may be reduced to make editing even easier, but without much time passed, we're now here in the main editing interface. So in the top left-hand corner, we've got our home button, which will take us back to the main screen when we first opened the app. Top right-hand corner, we've got our three little dots here as our menu where we can export, we can adjust our aspect ratio. So if we wanna switch this from a portrait video, we wanna to go to a wide screen or to a square, we can switch that up easily in here. I'm gonna leave that as portrait. We've got our undo and redo buttons here. We've obviously got our main preview area there where we can see the video that we're editing. Down the bottom here is our timeline. And you can see that we can just tap and swipe across here to scrub through our video. We've also got a play button here where we can play back our video in real time. And then all the main tools and functionality are down in this bottom area down here. And you'll see that the options you've got access to down the bottom here will change over time. So right now we have our video clip here selected. If I deselect it by just tapping off here somewhere else, then we'll see that those menu options down there change. And this will make sense as we go through. So you can see right now we have our main clip here in our timeline. If we wanna start trimming this down and removing our bad takes and mistakes, we can just tap on the clip there. You can see it's selected. On either side, we've got these white handles. So if I press on this handle and drag across to the right here, you can see that this is adjusting the start time of our clip. So we can find the piece here just before I start talking about here. When I let go, then that's now our new start point. We can obviously do that at the end of our video as well. We have one of those handles there where we can tap on that and drag it back to where we want our video to finish. So somewhere around here, let it go, and our video clip will now finish at that point. Now we also have the ability in here to remove sections from the video. So we can see there's a piece here where I stop talking and then start again. Let's say we wanna remove that gap. We can drag across and move our clip, or we can play and stop our clip at this point as well. But we wanna move our clip so this white line here, this playback marker, is where we wanna add a cut. And then we can just press the pair of scissors over on the right here, that's going to split our clip at that point. So now in a timeline here, we've now got two different clips. So we could then adjust the start time on this second clip, so we can drag that handle back along to that point there to remove that gap. That's one way that we could do it. Or if I undo that by pressing undo up here, we could also add a second cut where we want it here just before I start talking again. So we add a cut there. I can then select this clip here in the middle and I can scroll across down the bottom here until we find delete and we can delete it from there. Now, if I undo that, there is also a delete button over on the side here as well, which is easier to access. Now, we also have the ability to move these clips around. So if we select a clip here that we wanna move, and let's scroll down on the bottom here until we come across to rearrange, then we can select the clip that we wanna move, we can press and hold on it, and we can drag it to where we want it to be. So in this case, I've just flipped those around, but we can do this to help build out our story. When we're done moving our clips around, we can press done, and that has taken place. So that's really the key editing functionality where we can split a clip, we can adjust the start and end times on each clip, we can reorder them. But we also have the ability in here to bring in B-roll or overlay footage as well to show on top of this. So if we deselect our clips here, just by again tapping in a blank area of the screen, and then down the bottom left, we can choose overlay. This will then select us to pick other video clips here in our timeline. So maybe we'll pick this clip here, 
of a plant that is coming back to life. We can press import. It'll then go through and process that clip as well. And we can see now in our timeline here, we've now got this extra clip that is sitting above our primary footage. Now with this clip, we can tap and hold on it. We can slide it to the left or to the right. So let's bring it all the way back to the start here. With it selected, we can pick it up in the top corner here. We can move it around. We can pinch to zoom. We can rotate or we can scale it up so that it fits the entire screen here. If we want to show this in, instead of my face. So we can stretch this up here and we've now got our footage here of this plant. Now, just the same as our regular clips, we've got those handles on the side so we can adjust the start time. We can adjust the end time. We can add different cuts and splits to that. You can see very slowly here, if we skim through this, the plant is actually moving. But again, we can edit this as if it was a regular clip. If we wanted to remove a section of it, we've got the scissors there and you see now we've got a clip split in two and we could delete the end of that if we needed to. But while that plant is being shown, the speaking from the clip underneath is still happening. So now now, if you wanted to add other clips in, then we can come back down the bottom here to overlay, go ahead and select more footage and position it in our edit where we would like it. We can also easily add in text and graphics in here as well. So with nothing selected on our timeline here, let's add text. We're given two options. We can just create plain text or we can add some text effects. So plain text is really as it sounds, just basic text. So we'll type that in, we can press done. We now have a text layer here, this orange one, that again, we can pick up, we can move around, we can adjust the start and end times. And if we select on it, then this is where we can customize it up with our options down the bottom. So we can edit the text with the edit button. We can also adjust the style. So if we press style here, so we can adjust the font size, the actual font itself. There's a lot in here to choose from. We've got color, background, format. So we can add bold, italic, underline. We can add an outline, we can add a shadow. So there is a decent amount of customization here even for a basic title. But again, if we wanna pick it up, we wanna move it around, we just tap up in this top area here. We can also pinch to zoom to make it bigger or smaller or rotate it. Much the same as you would with tools like TikTok and Instagram. You also have the ability to add some animations into that as well. So again, with that title selected, if we tap on animation, there are some basic animations we can have for that text. And we can choose how long that animation is going to go for here, up to two seconds. So we can have a start animation and we also have a finish animation if we want, or we can choose none. I'm just gonna select done here for that. So those are the basic titles, but if we go back here and we choose text again, but this time choose text effects, you'll see that there is a bunch of presets in here and a lot of these are animated that we can then customize up and use in our videos. Even things like these speech bubbles and these message lookalike things here, we can create some pretty cool stuff very, very simply. So maybe we'll grab this subscribe button here and let's customize that up. Let's edit the text. Maybe we'll put our YouTube channel handle and hit the tick to apply that. We can then hit play to see how this actually animates. So if we press play on that now. Okay, so we get a little click on that. We can choose done, and then we can choose where we'd like this to show up. So maybe we'll put it towards the top here. Maybe we'll scale it down, just again, pinch to zoom. And you can see it down here in our timeline as well. We can pick this up, we can move it along. Maybe we'll show it a little bit later in our video. Pretty simple. Now we also have the ability to add in stickers here as well. So again, nothing selected. Let's come down the bottom here to stickers. And it's not just stickers, it's also GIFs and emojis too, which I think is pretty cool. So again, there's things like animated subscribe buttons and all of those kinds of things, arrows, different call outs, that all we need to do is just to select and they're going to be added as a graphic or a sticker here into our video. So let's go the hands clapping here. You can just choose where you wanna put that. Again, we scale it, we can rotate it as you've seen in a lot of other apps, very similar. Now this one is actually animating. We can see the little preview down the bottom here that the hands are clapping. So you can see when we hit play or when we drag through this, we can see that animation happening. And if we wanna delete it, we just wanna make sure it's selected and then hit the little trash icon and it's gone. But if we go back to stickers and we go across to GIFs or GIFs, then obviously we can scroll down here or we can search at the top if there's something specific that you want. So let's pick this one here and let's move it down here and maybe we'll make it a bit bigger. Let's hit play. 
So very simple. Now down the bottom here, we also have the ability to add in sounds. So if we press on this, there's a bunch of royalty free music that you can use on YouTube in this app already and sound effects and things as well. So we can search for something that we'd like or we can go through and browse and hit play to play them. There's also a category here for sound effects and also your music, which is where you can bring in any audio from your device. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick one of these music tracks here so you can see what that looks like. That again shows up as its own clip in our timeline here. We can pick it up, we can move it around and we can make adjustments to this. So you can see we can stretch it out so that it goes for longer or we can shorten it up depending on what we're after. With our music track selected, you can see we have control over the volume. We can also fade the music track or the sound effect in and out if we'd like to. And we can also find the beats here from the music as well. So if you're gonna create videos where you're making cuts and edits to the beat, then it can do this here for you or highlight those areas for you, making it much easier for you to make cuts and edits that precise. So if we zoom in on this now, we can see we've got these little circle markers there, which are the beat markers. So if we wanted to adjust our edit here to match that, we can easily do that now. It's a pretty cool little addition. We can also easily record a voiceover into the app here as well. So no need to go and use the voice memos or any other app. And there's even the ability to automatically create captions in here too. So let's press captions here. We can then choose our sound source. So it's gonna be from our videos and we can choose our language, English. Now, if we have a look at this, there's not too many languages that are supported here right now. So hopefully by the time this is officially out, that there's a lot more that we can choose from. But I'm gonna pick English and create. And I thought this was a cool addition as well. While it is creating captions here in the background, it takes you back to the editing app where we can keep editing, building out our video masterpiece. And then when the captions are actually finished generating, they then show up here directly in our project. And look, it does a pretty good job. If we have a look at the example here on screen, it's got professional grade as one word. If we wanted to make edits to this, we can select that here in our timeline and choose edit. And we can then edit that into two separate words. Or in this case, I think I would put a hyphen and a tick. So we can go through here, make any changes to our captions, hit done, and that's gonna update that there on the screen. But we can also change what they look like. So with our captions selected, we can choose style. Again, we've got size, we've got font, color, background, all the same sort of things that we had before. We can make them bold, outline, shadow. There's a good amount of control in here to really dial in the look of what you're after. Then when we're done, we can apply that by hitting done. We can then also scale and position these as we would any other clip. So if we wanted them a little bit smaller on the screen, we can just pinch to zoom. And that's now gonna apply for all of those captions. Now there's also some cool effects and things in here as well. If we select one of our primary video clips here in our timeline, then down the bottom here, we've got things like filters. So we can change up the look or the mood based on a bunch of presets in here that we can use. I'm gonna cancel out of that one. We can also go to adjust here, which is where we can manually dial in or color correct our videos. So we can adjust the brightness, the contrast, there's a bunch of settings in here that we can use, even skin tone adjustment. And I like that they've got the ability here not just to apply this to this individual clip, there's also an apply to all button down the bottom here so that all of your clips are going to have that effect applied. Then under effects, this one's pretty obvious, we're gonna find some effects. So we've got things like this cutout effect where it's gonna remove the background, 1994. 3D glasses, blurred, and you can see if you scroll down, there's quite a lot in here. And again, we can apply to an individual clip or we can apply to all of our clips. Let's cancel out of that. There's also a lot of different transitions in here as well. So we can select transitions. And we've got your standard ones, like your dissolve, your fade to black, fade to white. But it's also cool to see that there are some more, I guess, modern transitions in here, things like a whip pan. And yeah, we just keep scrolling, lots of different ones in here. This is an area though, transitions, where a lot of people overdo it and can make their videos look very bad. So I would suggest that you're using these sparingly, but there's a good amount in here to choose from. If you want to adjust the speed in your video. So if you want to speed up or slow down a clip, then we've just got a slider here for that. With one times being regular speed, we can slow down and we can speed up our clips here with this slider. But I like how simple this interface is. This is also where you come for volume adjustments. So you're gonna make clips louder or quieter. And there's also an audio cleanup feature in here as well, where it will remove the background noise from your videos. And it does a pretty good job. So there's actually quite a bit in that effects area to help you cut 
customize up your video to help you make it look better. And then obviously when it's time for us to save out our video, we wanna come up to the top right corner, these three little dots and choose export. And then in here, we really don't get much customization right now. We can see that the frame rate is 30 frames per second. There's nothing we can change with that. It's actually pulled that from the video file that we used. So it's matched it. The file format is MP4. Again, nothing we can change there, but again, for most people, probably don't need to. And we do get an option for resolution here. You can see it's currently set to high resolution, 1080p. There's an option for standard at 720p. I'd say just leave it at 1080, but it'd be nice to see a 4K setting at some point too. Then all we need to do is hit export and our video is going to save out. So that's a complete overview of the YouTube Create app in its current form. Fingers crossed it'll be out officially on iPhone very, very soon. But if you are looking for the best video editing apps right now on your iPhone or Android device, then check out the videos that are linked on screen. As always, we've got a bunch of other resources and links in the description box to help you. And I will see you in the next video.